Um, yes. Money situation, 40,000 rubles. Keep it in mind. Also, don't forget the Western money. <laughs> also, yeah. Because if Western money goes out, we are out of business, so to speak. Uh, electricity is gone then. So the comrade, one comrade uh, flatbed truck is working hard to keep this one stocked. Um, hopefully delivering bricks from the border. Yep. Yeah, he is. On the glorious uh, road, side road, so every snowplow knows the way. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, we can start this one also, where well, we need it shortly. Uh, what does it cost? 10 tons of steel. That's okay. We can look with it. This one is um, yeah, nearly ready to go. We wait on the uh, on the bricks. Let's help with the bricks uh, send our comrades to the border maybe so um, send this one to the border bricks you get from here thank you um, because it makes no difference if, if one drives here and loads up the the storage or if they collect it from the border. Um, gravel, gravel, gravel. Gravel this one up. Have something which does not li look like the third world country. Okay. Is it assigned? Only by one crew. Thank you. So, groundwork phase. Oh, nice. So, we are nearly done here. Good. Next building is done. This building can be activated in any time, it's no problem. Uh, at the moment it's in hibernation. We can start to uh, the groundwork stage of this one. Um, so, reduce the people by to zero. Start the construction, assign the construction. Ah, but they w mm. Maybe we wait a little bit. Don't want them to buy the prefab pens. 70 tons. How much is one ton? It's cheap, but uh, we are still in money pinching mode. Mm. Prefab, prefab, prefab. Where are you? Prefab. Um, 30 rubles a ton times 10 is uh, 300 rubles times 7 is um, 30,000 rubles? 300? Um, no. Times 5 will be 1500 rubles uh, times 7 is uh, yeah, something like 2000 rubles. Oh, dirt cheap. Okay, we can start. <laughs> No problem. Oh, nice. So we are here in business. Um, so these problems, was, uh, these little buggers will go away. But also, um, 
Yeah, we'll stay here in this one. This uh, road station. That's what they're there for. So I maybe will have... Um, let's limit this one. Let's have one... Uh, op Where's the distribution office? Here, this... No, this one? Uh, yeah. Stop it, please. Uh, we want to unload these and reload it here. And we load it only if we have uh, more than 70%. So this is the failsafe for, for the comrades um, so we can push them back to 90%. But we will change their route anyway to the loading station. Unload, wait until unload. 100%? Yes. Also here. Unload, wait until unloaded. 100%. Oh, nice. So I have to. Yeah. Okay. So, because we have enough workers to staff them, we can uh, start our backward integration further on with this one. This is the uh, fabric factory, which only needs um, some bricks. We can activate the workers so they can start to work here, give them 10 workers, uh, which will be delivered by the regular bus service here. Um, They are dealt with is good. Happiness uh, climbing up, 83%. Here, 78%. Yeah, here we go. The sad one, uh, 76%. Okay. Yeah. So we are in uh, full production mode uh, now. Having a worker here with 76% uh, happiness, a uh, little loyalty, but 80% productivity, which uh, we can work with, it's enough for our needs. Uh, he has food and culture at the last free time shift. He cannot pray, yeah, deal with it. Everything is fine, he's not too criminal. Let's hope he isn't. Uh, if it's not a hidden stat, but I think if it would be a hidden stat, it would be the same as loyalty. Yeah. But the crime run, crime run is uh, not to be underestimated. So, let's see. Okay, this one is nearly done. So, if we start, start to produce our own fabric, we also run into the problem that... Um, we need massive amounts of uh, crops. So uh, we will see it shortly, but I think the ratio was 20% uh, of crops. Yeah, 20% of crops uh, he burns up daily uh, for four tons of fabric. It should, uh, yeah, to feed them too. Um, and we save money because now uh, we are at a profit at 50% with this operation here. If we produce our own fabric, uh, we save money versus import. Um, but we also need to uh, yeah, build a factory. Uh, ah, the factory also has a water need. So the factory needs uh, factory water which we aren't providing yet. 
give me a small pump. Pump the water somewhere where it's clean enough so um, the pump mostly cares about uh, ground stations. So let's hope. Where's, where was it? Here, here we are. Hmm? No, no. I don't want to communicate with the power station. Hmm. We place it here in the middle of nowhere, where it's most likely in the way. Uh, should we place it? But hmm, yeah. I also want to have a farm, but I can place the farm here around. Be nice. The farm goes here, I can live with one power station. Let's lay out, let's make it a big project and uh, lay out the farm. Um, One big thing with the farm is, do we go medium or big? I think because of the wilderness situation, the big farm is a little bit cumbersome. Uh, one constraining thing about the vanilla uh, vanilla situation is the lack of uh, very big silos. And uh, I rather have two medium farms than one big one. Um, I silo them up and... Uh, yeah, we come to farm arithmetics in a short while. Let us think first where we place it. I think we can have two big fields here. I don't think we can fit in one big field here. Let's see. Let's not block ourselves. One. Ooh. Mm. This one I like. What do you like? Um. So if we have one field here. with one rod or the other one. <laughs> uh, yeah. What was this field? Ah, let's make it so. F1 here. F1 totally not the same line here. Okay. So we have uh, three fields for medium farm. I plan with the... Uh, uh, with the vehicles I have, <sighs> it will be uh, six big fields and no, eight big fields and four medium fields. I would safely uh, manage in one season. We have uh, four. Um, me my copy tool please no can't i copy the field copy this no <laughs> okay well <laughs> wants to copy a field anyway so yeah wants to build big fields anyway Let's see. So eight fields it should be. Make them s maybe make them so. Or make them so. Or make them so. Questions. Oh, start here. Um, maybe 
we start here and see where we coming out. It's also kind of a plan. Yeah, we have two things which are here. Conflict of interest, so to sp say. Uh, be space efficient, but also keep the travel time for your farm small as possible. Uh, the old tractors are slow. The machinery is not good. Um, I play with modded tractors, or with bigger machinery, but... Uh, a, we are poor. B, this is a vanilla playthrough, so vanilla should be. Um, three fields here, plus four fields here. We are seven. I said I want to have eight big fields. I usually go for 12, but um, the whole... Yeah. Vehicle situation is not uh, good enough to sustain 12, uh, 12 trucks and uh, 12 machinery to deal with 12 fields, in essence. It's not the prettiest setup we ever have seen, but well, where should the farm be? A medium farm. Somewhere in the center of the whole thing, but also connected to the power grid. So it's here. So it could be here. The, this one will move. Um, yeah, it's a nice place. Good as anyone. We also could sit here and be mirrored. Oh, they could sit here. It's also a great plan because the position of the silos. Yeah. Like it even more. So. Let's see. Okay. Make it here or make it there. Or everywhere. Do we want to pull out this road further along? I don't think so. Waste resources. Yeah. Resources are relatively okay, but um, there's no reason to. So, you first enough silo room. Uh, the silos were the will be the parts which really will cut into our money. Um, it's no joke. With mods, I would use the biggest silo and. Uh, be happy but without mods we need the uh, small buggers and they are not not so cheap you can check them out in a minute so I have this one here we have now eight fields and uh, we start with medium fields the medium fields are great because um, they are they get plowed quite fast and uh, fields have the habit they only start to grow if they are uh, completely plowed. So at the start of the season, if you start with small fields, um, this is uh, quite time effici efficient uh, to start with them and go on to bigger fields. So you plow them first, uh, they grow first, and at the, end, at the start of the harvest season, they are the first ones which are ready. Um, it's a nice bonus. So you... Uh, you start the harvest a little bit earlier than if you go with only big fields and the calculus is uh, I usually go the medium farm uh, because I like to to have short uh, driving wage driving ways which will not happen here but uh, yeah, anyway I want to copy the fields this one worked before um, anyway um, really disturbing the inconsistency of the game is uh, sometimes uh, throws me off because uh, <laughs> you know your combinations of keys you want to use and uh, suddenly no comrade 
let's do it this way because why not? No? Yeah. Why not? This little bugger go away. Um, put it somewhat angular to this one. Have him sitting. Uh, Spending way too much time on uh, on these decisions, but yeah, give the field some love. Um, so we have uh, two little call them little fields because in my mind they really are. Uh, medium fields. Plunk him in here. You be creative. Yeah. Express yourself to this a very special creativity. So he will go uh, they will usually go to the first fields and if you assign them in a good order they will go to the next fields and uh, after that they will finish up here um, go refill or not sometimes they will go sometimes they will not go from one field to another um, avoiding the slowness of the whole operation here yep okay so the farm itself is not so is uh, dirt cheap I think um, Let's look for the steel. 30 tons of steel, yeah. Tens of 10 tons of steel are 4,000 ruble. 30 tons is uh, 16,000 ruble. So let's say 20,000 ruble for the uh, farm. In most cases, I want to avoid uh, the massive import of crops and uh, the driveways which the crops take. So I plan with fields. Um, we also could go without fields, but. Uh, it's very nice. We save uh, border time, we save drive time, we save uh, also vehicles because uh, we have shorter ways to go. Um, but the fields, uh, the this this is the thing at with the farm which will cost us greatly. Um, so these little buggers. Um, the sad thing is the field fields get uh, changed massively. Before the season update, uh, you are farming the whole year around, and uh, this is capacity of uh, 800, under a thousand tons capacity as a silo. How much are you? Yeah, also also twenty thousand ruble. So uh, you know, twenty thousand plus twenty thousand, uh, and I want to have. Uh, let's see, one big field. Uh, yields per year 300 uh, tons of crops so we have eight fields so it's 2400 tons of crops plus plus the uh, smaller the medium fields which add up uh, let's say around 3000 tons of crops a little bit less uh, so uh, we need uh, three silos to deal with this because uh, in the peak maybe maybe two will be enough but in the peak season uh, every silo will be filled yeah rather three silos and three silos are even not enough so i go on usually with modded silos which have a capacity of 4000 tons and uh, this is fine you can combine a farm with a silo and you are good but uh, here no and uh, we will uh, store all the grain for one season and use it up during the year in our factories so we need the capacity um, really do around 80% uh, of the max production and capacity should be hmm, should be in enough but uh, yeah 80% of 3000 tons is uh, a little bit more than 2000 tons which is a little bit more than two silos and uh, we are now at 40,000 rubles investment here and uh, plus the tractors and the harvesters and the uh, um, cover trials yeah it adds up so let's say we invest 100,000 rubles for the whole crop operation the imports of crops 
uh, so it will the return of investment for one farm will be after two years yeah but anyway we have other benefits like i said um, this one needs to be removed from service um but <laughs> why we started with this whole kerfuffle was the uh, uh, water situation in our in our fabric factory yeah so water should come from here is it uh this is not a well this is a pump Give me a well. Yeah. So we expect your water quality of eighty-five percent. Don't like the fields, buddy. Eighty-eight percent could get worse. Usually it would be okay. Let us take a look. So what do we need? We need a fabric factory. Close this one. We need water. We have numbers. What water quality do we need? Yeah. Of course, the quality of the well can go down if we build something there, uh, but I don't think uh, the well will be disturbed more than it is now. So, the quality of water 20, 20 cubic meters. Um, What is the quality saying? Oh, 85%. Quiet water quality. Risky biscuits. We have now 88%. No guts, no glory, I would say. Um, so let's hope it stays this way. What could go wrong? If not, we build another one. Um, was so nice, we built it twice. Go in here, please somewhere want to start the water well it should be left alone ah I put power cable here um. so we go in here our big pump This time a big pump because the chemical industry also need uh, water, industry quality water, which hopefully is uh, lower than 80%. Medium pipe. Hello pipe. So, you can join up here. Like it's somehow visually appealing or not. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. One time something. Can't we have something nice here? Um, yeah. Also, inconsistency uh, shift delete does not work. I showed it. Um, 
pump is not in the... Could we build it a little bit more parallel to the road? Because the pump is also not parallel to the road, so... Have some decency. Have some decency. Mm. Mm. Simply does not. Yeah, I should place the pump maybe a little bit more straighter. Okay. Here we go. So. Nice. Cost us um, six tons of steel, and uh, small pipe goes in here because uh, yeah, it's twenty tons of normal water of uh, bad water. Okay. Let us take a look how we do it. Um, Let's follow this pie. Yeah. What? No. Let's try again. Follow this one here. a little bit can we go over or do we need to go under under yes over also yes so we go up no don't we go up no ah. so under it is yes no yes no yes yes hmm. don't know High precision deleting here, please. Okay, nice. So we piped this one in. Mm -hmm. If uh, industrial complex needs um, water, always give him the the water. Uh, if, if it can live without drinking water, simply don't provide no drinking water. Because you don't want to pay the cost of uh, cleaning the water. Please go into the production. Yes. I also will send up the minibus crew to this task at once. Uh, the man hours for these are usually very small, so they can plow on. And let's hope our field pump is uh, will stay good enough. Yeah. Yeah, waiting for bricks. He is stable. They are good. Money is stable. Um, need to keep an eye on the dollar. Population 1100. 2% 2 unemployed. Good health, good happiness. I'm quite happy. And this one is in the ground stage, which is nice. This one can be constructed if the need arises. At the moment, it doesn't. Oh, he needs something from our city. I think it's okay. The uh, system with the two trucks uh, seem to work fine. So every one of these trucks has the goods the people need. And they wait until they have 
unloaded 80%. They have 10% of uh, electronics and 10% of clothing. At the moment they take the clothing from the border because it's far easier than to manage this small amount of clothing our people need. Uh, we are here in high production and I don't want to fiddle around more than absolutely necessary. Yeah. This one will be will be exciting <laughs> if we stay about 85 percent i think the chemical plant uh, is happy with far lower let's hope that the sewage outlet uh, does not poison our water i sure did um yeah if not we need to reallocate the water supply nice nice So the farm is planned. Um, we will, we want to finish it this year um, to start the crop production in the next season. So let us uh, slowly but surely prepare. Don't rush it because there's no need to. Um, also, um, I first wanted to have quite a stable money situation um, to be sure that uh, we don't run into any problems. Loans are a no-no because uh, self-imposed cruelty. Let's try to have the biggest roads here. Biggest parts of the road. So go here. This looks kind of nice for a country road, but... Can we branch off here, maybe? And this little swing operation. Let's turn out this parallel thing. No, we can't. So let's make it like. Oh! Let's make this one. And this one. Mm, don't like this one as much. Make it like so. So. And. So, let's hope the construction is not in divided into a thousand parts. Still don't like it very much. Hmm. Ah, it's a country road. Um, this one could be a longer part. Nice. Okay. This country road is okay for here. Okay. Silo can be connected. Silo will be stopped. Farm. Oh, farm is the really is not the biggest cost factor in this whole operation. Let's connect them. Okay. Activate this road, activate the road crew. Not this crew, this crew. Go on full speed. Okay, okay. This one is going, coming around. Only four, five tons of steel and some workers. Let's send the minibuses in. Hmm. Maybe wait a little bit for the water. Yeah. Maybe wait for the water situation to be finished up.
Okay. I think if you're doing quite well, somebody would say it's a perfect season. That uh, you know how it goes. If you <laughs> claim to be perfect, maybe you start a cheat mode, maybe you start to kill your crime, maybe you skip 10 years because all the perfect plans do not work out. So I start a small and humble and uh, work the way up. Let you be the judge of uh, how this one goes. I'm happy with it. Uh, I like the min max effect uh, the cosmonaut forces me to. Um, it's a little bit like a puzzle game. So, what we need, what we don't need, how we can survive. Especially without loans and uh, deal with the cards we are giving. Uh, cosmonaut mode and the little money situation hands out a special hand of cards. Uh, yeah. This is a great ending for this episode I think we did well this one so we started our production and are in good swing winter is coming again we spent so much time here no it's uh, first of April okay <laughs> spring is coming um, yeah Production is in good state, uh, people are in good state, they are happy and healthy, uh, they are multiplying, they are all in, in a working condition, um, crime is uh, bugging me, but it's not a problem at the moment, I think. What does our loyalty? 37%, I'm okay with that. Uh, we can start to monument up the working place situation so they don't forget about Comrade Lenin on the way to the work place. Maybe it was advisable or nice hammer and sickle thing. Yeah. Yeah, the small town is plowing along. Um, what we really need is. Uh, Secure the income, which is in a good state, I think. Um, expand the income, and um, after after the farm is done, we will start with the university. Um, if the money situation will allow it. So, let's see. Um, first of April, so we have the whole March last month. Uh, we have exported to the Soviet bloc. 50,000 um, which is like expected like the first um, time we looked 50,000 exports uh, 27,000 imports uh, so profit of 25,000 uh, which is enough to keep us stable and above the water made a small plus we were down to 65,000 so now we have 50,000 uh, where we still lose money is on the western side which does not bugger me as much. We can take care of this if it gets a, to be a problem, but it isn't. Um, can you reduce here the amount of workers so nobody comes in? Brilliant idea to get here to work. I think they are too far away, but uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have laid the foundation for further expansion uh, need to be uh, fast and at the same time cautious of the money situation yeah want to start uh, to farm next year um, preparations are done and um, yeah next episode we will plow on and uh, expand the income expand the factory um, yeah so it's a nice time to make a point. So have a good one. Bye, comrades.